Good morning, everybody. It is a Tuesday, I think, yes. What you're listening to in the background, if you can hear it, is our weekly lender and vendor meeting. I have to get dressed, though, in the middle of it, so I've stepped away from my computer so I can still listen because I need to be out of here at 11 o'clock to go and cover the store because the owner's daughter is sick. So, uh, gonna get dressed. I'll show you my outfit in one second. Look at my awesomely messy desk, guys. I know that's crooked, but, um, I can't get it to stand up otherwise right now, but I thought I'd show you. I have an extra 10 minutes because the presentation ended 10 minutes early. Honestly, I love watching these presentations. I learn so much that I wouldn't have learned otherwise just from reading about these companies. You get to know the people behind the uh, mortgage lenders. And today I was learning about a MIC, which is a mortgage investment company. So you can invest in the company um, and like you would buy stocks almost. I don't exactly know how it works. But also they lend out money to people who are, don't necessarily qualify for like an A lender or an alternative lender. Um, so yeah, they're, and they, this one in particular specializes in like more rural areas, which is part of where I live. Um, definitely su the surrounding area around Kingston is quite rural. Um, and there are some lenders who like literally only will lend in big cities or like city environments. Um, and don't lend where you might have to bring the services to <laughs> the land because there's no septic or there's no like sewer, no well even, like nothing is there, just land. So, um, very interesting. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I'm packing in my bag today as I'm packing it up. I've already got some stuff in here, so, um, got my wallet. I'm switching over to this backpack today. Not sure how it'll turn out, but um, I've got my reusable cutlery. I would show you, but I can't remember if I washed them after using them the last time. I know that's gross, but like they're probably gross. I've got my AirPods. Um, this is a case I got off of Amazon. I'll link it. I really like it. The clasp and like handle thing is very sturdy, so yeah. Um, and my wallet is from Status Anxiety. I bought it at Happy Thoughts, the store I work at. Um, and it just holds so much stuff. And uh, it actually fits a really good stack of my business cards in here. Um, I don't actually want to just like flash them to you because it fully has my phone number on the back. So this is my business cards. I decided to join a brokerage called Pineapple. They're based in the GTA, but actually have like their head offices in the GTA. Um, and that's like Toronto area. Um, in case you're not from Ontario and don't know what the heck the GTA is, but, um, they have people everywhere in Ontario. So, um, and also they have offices kind of everywhere. Um, anyway, uh, there was already a plastic fork in here. I've got my pencil case, um, which doesn't have a single pencil in it, but, um, you know, we've got some tampons that were already in there. I pretty much leave tampons in all of my bags because who knows, um, when my period will make a mystery appearance. Um, since I got my IUD replaced, uh, last year. I haven't had a period, so, um, which is great, and I think was the original reason why I got it, but that didn't happen the first time I got it. I'm also packing a mask. Um, I haven't been wearing one in the store a lot, but I keep one with me just in case. Um, yeah, things are picking up again, so I don't know, I'm considering masking again. Uh, Especially because everybody's like cold, got colds and stuff. Um, 
notebook. This one is just dotted paper. This is the notebook I've been using for all of my um, script writing for making videos for um, mortgage content because I need to have facts and not just like talk off of my chest. And my planner. I switched from a bullet journal to a planner um, because I needed like huge calendars. Like there is, this one's really cool um, because like it has little goal trackers at the beginning of each month and then like the like full calendar spread already written out and it's got so much room. The only thing is that I wish it was more vertical um, for the um, days, but each day has the same size space, so that's really good. All right, put those in there, and then I need to um, disconnect my, oh my gosh, uh, cords from my computer. think I'm gonna take my charger with me today. I don't normally when I'm working in the store, but I'm gonna be on it all day. And I have a feeling it will be necessary. Um, this backpack does not hold a lot of stuff. It is the Herschel, um, I think they call it the City backpack. I don't know, They. I, I, mine's a couple years old, but I think they still make it. This is what it looks like. Um, which is cute and all, but it does not hold a lot. Like, my laptop, and it's not even really made for laptops, so. Oh my gosh. Come on, cord. There we go. Whoever decided at Apple that they were going to save some money and not offer, like, the extension cord thingy that in the box... I hate you. I genuinely wish you have a horrible day. Because, like, I need that thing and I don't want to buy it extra. Okay, I'm so hungry. But I do not think that I have time to get food. I don't have any money in my bank account, so. Well, I'm hoping, hopefully getting paid today, so. Uh, I think I need to shorten this actually. I made the little strap longer because I thought that'll be better, but I don't think that's going to work. I'm sure it'll pop open. It pop the snap on it is not very strong. And so it pops open all the time. And honestly, if it had two snaps, it would be probably the perfect size, like carry almost nothing with you kind of bag. So anyway, and then I will be carrying my water bottle because it does not fit in there. I do not trust it in next to my laptop. And um, yeah, I will just carry this and put this in my pocket and carry you, I guess. Okay, let's go to work. Okay, I am here. I'm downtown. The store is literally right there. It is very busy downtown for a Tuesday. Um, like, I'm happy I found a great parking spot, but also there's just people everywhere. Um, that is because the students are back and um, Queens is downtown and there's just students walking everywhere um but it just seems there's a larger volume of cars out too so I don't know um anyway so I am gonna go and work uh and I don't know if I'll be able to film um while in the store depending on how busy it is um but we'll see I guess Work it off. Okay. 
Well, okay, so I did not film at all while I was in the shore, to be honest. Um, I didn't realize that our boiler guy, um, really, all of the parking spots available on this train you have to park right next to me. Okay, anyway. So, I didn't realize it, but our boiler guy, i.e. the guy, the only guy in the holding city, who knows how to fix the building's boiler, was in rebuilding the boiler today. Um, it's a 160 plus year old building. So it requires a lot of maintenance. Um, so yeah, anyway, he was in. Um, it was so quiet today. It rained most of the day. The sun is out a little bit now, but in all honesty, it was literally just a day of sitting there and keeping the door unlocked so that Ralph the boiler guy could go in and out of the store a million and one times. There's apartments above the store, but they're not connected to the store, obviously. So, um, every time he needs to go test something, he has to come up from the basement, go out through the store, go around the corner, enter the building, um, from a different street, go up the stairs to the apartments, test it out, flush the line, whatever, and then, um, come back downstairs, around the corner, through the store, to the basement. And half of the time he was doing that, it was just chucking it down with rain. So, I, uh, feel bad for him. He was, like, drenched by the end of the day. Um, but yeah, it's done. Hopefully we're good for winter. We had to have him in, like, three or four times over, um, last winter because, um, the heat went out, there was no hot water, old buildings, you know, they do what they want to do. So, yeah, anyways, um, that's that. Hopefully we'll be good for a little while. And, um, yeah, I literally basically just sat there and kept the store open so he could have access to the store, um, easily. Without me having to unlock the door. So, it was... Otherwise, kind of a, a very slow day because of the weather. So, um, anyway, I didn't get much work done um, in the store because the weather was messing with the internet. Uh, it's okay to, to say their farewell. Hello, hi there. Um, it's been a few days since I vlogged and I thought I should pick up the camera again. Although I'm not really doing anything all that interesting. Um, I'm about to go into a meeting with my mentor. God, my brain hurts. Um, I woke up this morning with a migraine and now I'm on the migraine drugs. And yeah, anyways, um, 
I'm gonna go to my meeting and I'll catch up with you guys later. That horrible noise is my dog chewing and it is pretty awful. Hi, do you mind not flashing my phone number to everyone? Jeez, you're just gonna tell everybody. Huh? Okay, well. Um, okay. So I've had my mentor meeting. And, okay, that is weird, crooked, weird. There we go, okay. I've had my mentor meeting. Um, I've been sitting here eating amuzas, um, you know, all like I do, because they're tasty. And my dog will sit next to me and um, beg for them because, you know, that's what she likes to do. And I think I'm just going to check some comments, YouTube comments, um, because I uploaded a What I Eat in a Day video. Um, and I have to stay on top of those because people are weird and cruel and mean and um, I just have to, I have to be on top of it. So, for example, like I'm reading through the comments and like I did give a caveat, be nice or I'll block you. Um, someone wrote, I'm oversized and so insecure about it. I love watching your videos because I stopped eating for a while and now after watching your video I'm eating ice cream and I'm not giving a fuck anymore about anyone. I love myself and my weight. Thank you so much. I mean, <sighs> someone just also commented like they only date big girls or big people. Um, someone did ask because I mentioned that Katie and Kraft Mac and Cheese are different. They thought it was the same thing. Do they taste different? Yes. They taste quite different. Um, I was curious one time and I bought a box of uh, Kraft Mac and Cheese off of like a importing website. And it tasted so bad. Like it didn't even really taste sort of cheesy. There was no flavor. It was just gross. It tasted way more like plastic than Kraft Dinner does. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to reply to some comments like that one. Not much has changed. Everything else is still a mess. But you can watch me type for a while. And after all those lovely, awesome comments, I went to the hidden or held for review section and found one, which is actually not that bad. Um, uh, it's from a video where it says like, it's the Q and A video from a couple of months ago, maybe, I don't know. Um, like where have I been, life updates, and living at home. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Um, anyway, uh, it says, and I quote, you need mental help. I think there is a place in Brighton for you where I lay dead bodies for dancing on top of. Cool. Uh, this person gets a block. So, and actually, if you have a YouTube channel and you need to block somebody, it's very easy. So when you're looking at the comments, um, what you do is, oops. So you can click on their name. It opens a new window over here and you go to their about tab here, which is not in focus. And then you come down here where it's a, where the little flag is. It's not focused again. And you just go block user. Submit. 
obviously this person feels like they can say things on my life, but don't put content in the world. I love it when people comment on my life and um, my body and um, just in general, like things about um, you know, existing um, in a fat body but don't have any content themselves. They comment on all sorts of things and um, yet sit behind an anonymous um, profile. So yeah, that's always, that's always fun. Um, so anyways, um, comments are read and that's about it for um, YouTube. Um, and now I'm going to go and record uh, this week's video, which is all about, actually, I'm not going to tell you. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go do that. I think I might need a sweater. I'm quite cold. And yeah. once I'm done that, I actually have to run in town and pick up a new planter that I bought. It was like half off. Um, I'm thinking of collecting a bunch of random stuff I've purchased in the last little while and doing a, like, random things haul, like a collective haul of all the random crap I've purchased recently. So, if it's not out already, let me know if you think that would be a good idea. Hi, I'm just here to end the video because I forgot to record an outro and I would like to eventually be able to edit this vlog. So, um, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, you know, all the things, leave a comment. All of that genuinely helps me, um, grow and get new people here, so. Um, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!